Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Well, y'all, I'm in the car again. <laughs> um, the picket tour is tonight. I have to work on my booth. And this morning I have a boob hug, also known as a mammogram. God, dude, your side of the road is over there. Ah, yeah, I gotta rave like crazy people. <sighs> anyway, I, uh, I gotta get the mammogram, but I also have a thyroid ultrasound, same time. Not same time, 15 minutes apart, so let's hope they're not late. Why, why, why? Got my dry skin right there. Um, it's gone, it's gone now. I'll stop picking at my nose. Anyway, so they thought, oh, as long as you're coming in for a mammogram, let's do your thyroid ultrasound at the same time. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's awfully close. Are you sure I'm gonna make it? <laughs> Most of the time I come in, you guys are late. They're running late. Oh no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Will it though? Feel like I'm about to be disappointed. Anyway, so I'm gonna go do that. And I had a phone call at like two o'clock, which what the hell was I thinking? I don't know, it's some sponsorship deal. And uh, I would like a sponsor for the channel. Sure would help a lot. So I don't know how this is gonna go down, but here's the thing with sponsors. It's such a scam. Because nine times out of 10, they want me to do it for free. They wanna send me a product and have me demonstrate it for free. And they'll see how it goes, see how the engagement goes. And then they never call you again because it's like they got what they wanted. They got a video. They got a, you know, they, and it stays up. It's free advertising. And they get backlinks and they get, you know, and it's like, no, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it for free. I've done them on my website for free. And I'm like, nope, done doing for free. You're going to pay me something. So it's just, the whole thing seems like a scam. That's the way it is. Okay, y'all. So you know that phrase, a day late and a dollar short? What is it when you're a day early? <laughs> Do I get extra money then? <laughs> Does that mean I'm flush with cash? Because I'm like, don't tell me it's tomorrow. Oh my God, I think I'm early. <laughs> and she goes, yeah, it's tomorrow. But like, you know what? I'm going to go up here. We'll see if we can get you. I'm like, no, don't see if you can get me in. That just throws the whole schedule out. And she's like, well, let's come up and talk. And she's like, can you just see if... And she goes, I don't think we can. I said, no, 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 guys. No, it's fine. And she goes, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it's me that's off. Which I'm not going to make somebody wait because I came in a day early. I'm like, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, I said no. Don't worry about it. So, I'm out and about apparently early morning right there. Hmm. Worst part is it's 8 o'clock. There's nothing open. I cannot even believe I did that. I can though. Mm. <laughs> Now I don't know if my calls today. I have no idea what's happening right now. My whole day is off. I'm like, ah, oh, darn it. That is hilarious. All right, I'm on my way to pick it now because life. So I went home and then the call I was supposed to do it to was canceled. So I was gonna leave sooner. And then they called. They called three times in a row, so I picked it up because, of course, they don't have their name on their phones. 
and I'm like, hello? And they're like, and I said, you know, you guys canceled it by text and then I emailed trying to get a new time and then I didn't hear anything back from any of you. So frustrating. Anyway, going to pick it. It's three o'clock. I'm going to pick it way early, work on the large booth, get that done and then do the tour tonight at seven, so. And I got here and then I start talking. Outside in the heat is so hot, y'all. Like, <laughs> sultry. Ooh. Like Florida swamp weather. Oh my gosh, I am just soaked now. But I'm inside, I got all the boxes in. Let's figure it out. Making me sad. Not happy with how this looks, and I'm struggling with what I need to do. No hope for it. Let's just get after it. Costume, Lillian. This is the Norwegian costume. I'm, I've got two of these Hardanger. This is called Hardanger. Um, it's a special kind of lace that they make that looks the same on both sides. It's a Norwegian thing. Both aprons are Hardanger. So I'm including two aprons with it. So I thought I'd put them both on the mannequins, but I don't know. You don't really see the skirt then. So I think I'll take the long one off. But this is cute. And this, the snap is over here. And then it looks like you just tuck it in on the other side. So they just didn't have a second. I don't know, both of them are like that. I have a second panel down here and I only have one snap. So I'm not sure why, but this skirt and top are way too big for the mannequin. So I've actually pinned it in place. And I think I am gonna take the long one off so you can see the skirt. And I think that looks better. Cause then you can see the skirt with it. But I gotta put back on here that the dress form is not for sale and then get this price. I don't know what to charge for it. It's so gorgeous. So pretty, it's all hand done. All hand done, beautiful. Almost forgot her belt. So gorgeous belt that goes with it. It's just stunning. Beautiful piece. Okay. So I think, I think it's done. As you can see, I got the pieces we just finished in here already. Got my little Coca-Cola vignette, my little elephant vignette. And since he was blue, I threw a few more blue things on there. Oh, I gotta get that pole. Hang on. The pole's gone now. Uh, with the little elephant there. Hung that picture up. And then I hung this apron. I'm debating, because the other one's just sitting over the chair, and I don't know that I like it, so kind of getting to the point of it is what it is though. And then I've got the two Norwegian plates up here that I, I think I showed you these. One says Mangatak and the other one says Barsagud. Uh, probably butchering that. And then the dress form. It's beautiful. And then that. And then hi, that's me. Ugh. <laughs> Let's just move on. And then I didn't do a whole lot in here. I added a bunch more china pieces, some new pieces in there. And then filled up that with some new plates. Filled the basket. Hung this basket over here, moved that. And then the tilt top table. A couple pieces I want to run next door. And I want to put the uh, trail cam in that booth because of the theft last month. So I'm gonna go do that and then uh, get all the lights turned on for this tour. I ate my peanut butter sandwich. I always love having a sandwich that's been in a bag with a 
with an ice cooler with ice pack because then your sandwich, even if it's in a Ziploc, is soggy for some reason. So gross. Anyway, I got plenty of water. Let me get my lights off here. Turn the lights on later. I don't want people. People have been yanking on the door the whole time I'm here. So they're just like walk right past the clothes sign to just yank on the door. Even if we were open with this week, which we are, <laughs> you know, until Wednesday, there's a big freaking sign out there that says Wednesday hours. God, uh, I'm telling you. I think it looks all right though. I'm gonna get a few pictures. Yeah, pictures till I turn all lights on. I mean, seriously, seriously, not very bright. Anyway, and I take a box to the car, take a bag upstairs, and then I think I'll be done. Just praying I sell. So, just please, Lord, let this be a really great month. Forgot to say dress form not for sale. Let's do that right now. Okie dokie. So, I'm done with the tour. And I'm on my way home. I am freaking starving. I don't want to stop and get anything. So I'm just going to have to wait till I get home. Peanut butter sandwich, not cut it for dinner. Oh well, so anyway, that's all done. I was so glad with how the booth turned out. Yeah, I'm a pressure player. Like when I'm under pressure, get creative, gets done. But I think with the uh, dress form in the corner, if all of, if that costume sells, I have the fur coats, the vintage fur coats that I can bring in and cover up the mannequin with that. And hopefully somebody will buy them for a bear. I don't know, if the dress sells. But it's, Carl Oscar Days is like this huge Scandinavian festival. And um, if there's ever a time to sell a Scandinavian costume, it is Carl Oscar Days. That and Christmas. I would think Christmas would be the other good time to sell it. So if it doesn't sell this month, I might take it out then for next month and then wait till November for the Christmas sale and put it in. It's a good one and it's a good size, like a size large, so. Uh, I'm going home. I'm gonna get ready for my actual mammogram tomorrow. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching you guys. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna peace out. Peace out. I'm off. And we'll see how it goes and maybe tomorrow I can stop on the way home and get some job. I can't, I don't have any money. Stop it, Stacey, you don't have any money. You don't need to go yet, Chuck. I pick up my check on Thursday for Vintage Junkie. Hopefully there's money still in it. I know the big pieces that I had didn't sell till July 1st, so it's like, uh, darn it. I won't be on that June check. Hello. Thanks for watching, guys. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.